Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today because there is blood in the streets. Everything is red, especially if you are holding altcoins right now. You probably got absolutely turbo wrecked today. So what is happening right now in the crypto market? And should you be selling everything right now? I'm going to be answering that question today. So first of all, we need to take a look at this massive triangle pattern because we just broke out to the downside, potentially about to confirm this bearish price target of about 58,500 US dollars. Now, if you have been watching my videos regularly, this should come to no surprise to you because I have been talking about this every single day. For example, in this video two days ago, where I specifically mentioned that there was a lot of liquidity to the downside here. So now a couple of days later, here we are, and we're exactly at the support level that I talked about. And I will get a little bit further into the support and resistance levels in a second here. But first, what is happening next in the case that we do just see a breakout back to the upside into this triangle pattern? Well, for example, if we do end up breaking to the upside, then the price target that would be confirmed is about 78,000 500 US dollars. But in order to get to that point, we first need to break through some important resistance levels. So let's take a look at the support and resistance for Bitcoin. So right here, zooming in on the one hour Bitcoin time frame, you can see that we found some exact support at this level right here, where we already got a little bit of a bounce back to the upside right here. But right now in the short term, if we take a look at the RSI momentum indicator on the one hour time frame, we are very clearly in oversold territories. So in the short term, there's limited room to the downside for the Bitcoin price right now, because the RSI is already in oversold territories, as well as just having this level of support right below the current price. And just for some extra confirmation on the four hour time frame, we see something very similar. We're about to reach back into this level of support and we are also about to touch the oversold territory on the RSI momentum indicator for Bitcoin. So in the short term, like for example, over the next day or so, I do think there's limited room to the downside for Bitcoin, but of course we'll have to wait and see. For example, if we lose this level of support right here from about 66,000 down to 65,500 US dollars, if we lose this level right here, then we're cooked boys. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> if we lose that level, I think we're cooked. Because in the case that we do break down from that level of support, well, then the next level below it is a huge level of support from about 62,500 US dollars down to $60,000. And in the case that we do reach this price level, I think it is quite likely that at least in the short term, we see a little bit of a bounce from of that level. However, in the short term, it could definitely be possible that we have already found our level of support and we'll get a little bit of bullish relief or we'll just start trading sideways a little bit in order to reset that RSI momentum indicator around to the 50 level. So there's more room either to the upside or to the downside, because how the RSI resets is by the price trading sideways or the price just trading upwards a little bit. Now, in the case that we do start trading higher again, the next level of resistance that Bitcoin will run into is 68,500 US dollars all the way up to $70,000. So this is an important level of resistance that you need to keep an eye on in the short term here. I don't think we will be trading higher than that before I post my next video tomorrow. So I'm not gonna waste your time with that. And another very important level that you need to watch here, although since it's currently moving up pretty quickly, I think I might be a little bit late by the time I post this video, but another really important level right here is this trend line, which is currently at about $67,000. Because for example, on this four hour time frame, we will have a candle close in 51 minutes. And in the case that it does close above 67,000, then it is definitely possible that we will just continue to trade inside this range until we eventually break either to the upside or to the downside. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps, you can see that we just took out this massive bucket of liquidity of about $770 million worth of people that were longing the Bitcoin price. They all just got wrecked. And again, this shouldn't come as any surprise to you because I talked about this exact level of liquidity in yesterday's video way before we even reached that price level. Because as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, Typically, the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. 
Now quickly taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow table. Yesterday we saw a net inflow of about $91 million, which is about half of how much we get on average. But like I have been saying pretty much every single video, I think currently there's not a lot of interest because we're just consolidating inside of this triangle pattern. And then once we do end up breaking either to the downside or to the upside, I think that's when a lot of volatility and a lot of volume comes back into these ETF products. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that first of all, we got rejected right here from this 786 Fibonacci level. But then today we actually lost the level of support of the 618 Fibonacci level, which is very significant. However, we do still have four and a half hours to close above the level. So the level that you need to watch right now in the short term for Ethereum is about 3330. It looks like in the short term, we have found some support in this exact support level that I drew out for you guys from about 3250 down to 3150. And in the case that we do lose this level of support, well, then the next support level below it is about 3000 down to 2850. And I do think that this is a very big and significant level of support because it also lines up perfectly with the 0.5 Fibonacci level. But in the case that we will simply see a bounce from here, well, then the big level of resistance that you need to watch out for is about 3330. And if we break that, then the level above it is about 3450 up to 3550. However, of course, nothing I say in my videos is financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now taking a look at Solana in the short term here, <laughs> I, I wanted to share my trade because I bought at $140. These were some limit orders that I set like weeks ago. Uh, because I looked at this big level of support and I was like, I'm just going to put it exactly at the bottom of the support. <laughs> and it somehow <laughs> perfectly wicked down to this. So in the case that we do see Bitcoin trading up again, then this would have been an absolutely insane entry. But yeah, as of right now, it's, <laughs> it's literally already up about 10%. So that's good to see. So yeah, the support level that we need to hold in short term is from about $150 down to $140, just like I said in yesterday's video. But in the case that we do just find some support here in the short term, then first of all, you have a little bit of resistance right here at about 162, but then above it, we have a big level of resistance from about 166 all the way up to 172. And here it looks like I forgot to make it red. So just to make it a little more clear, you can see that this is a level of resistance, of course, and not support. If you want to learn more about support and resistance levels and just terms in general that I use in these videos, then on the bottom left side of your screen, you can click a video where I explain all of that. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.